They call it the Microsoft Surface Laptop Go, really the sweet spot for content writers and content managers, as well as designers. This laptop is thin and light and at 12.4 inches with a three by two aspect ratio, it makes a portable laptop really enjoyable to use. A lot of times what you find in these smaller laptops is a wider screen, which ultimately gives you a shorter screen. And what happens here is you feel really scrunched in your workflow. With the Surface Laptop Go, you don't run into that issue with the scrunched screen, so it makes the smaller screen very usable. Now, we're gonna get into the build quality and usability of this laptop here in just a moment. As we're diving into the Microsoft Surface Laptop Go, you may be looking at it for your own personal use or trying to build out a tech stack of hardware and software for your team. If you're the latter, then I would definitely consider getting in touch with CDW as you're working through your purchasing decisions. CDW partnered with me to make this video happen and they can design, orchestrate, and manage custom solutions to help you quickly execute the acquisition of new software and hardware. You can get connected with a dedicated rep from CDW to help you build out the right package for your team. Links in the description below if you wanna get connected right now. Jumping into the build quality, we have an aluminum top cover, keyboard deck, and then this nice soft touch plastic material on the bottom of the chassis. Now, I really like this choice because it doesn't have that cheap plasticky feel. It feels very sturdy. And even in regards to the old Benji tap test, so sturdy. I'm really impressed by the assembly and build quality of this laptop. As we go ahead and look at where the side panel meets the bottom cover of the chassis, you almost can't even recognize the seam. It's put together with such precision. Now keep in mind that there's no screws here on the bottom of the chassis. Now, now this means there's going to be no upgrade path after you purchase this laptop. So whatever you purchase it with, whether it be 8, 16 gigs, whether it be 128 gig SSD or 256 or a 512, whatever it might be your purchasing point, that's what you're going to stay with. Now, if you're a content writer or content manager, I recommend 16 gigs of RAM. And I'm going to show you later in the video why this is. But quickly, as a short note, if you're doing a lot of multitasking, so let's say you have Google Chrome open, you're listening to music in Spotify, you're working in a Word doc, you have Excel spreadsheets, you know, you're doing a lot of multitasking. And then all of a sudden you got to jump on a video call. You want to make sure you have enough RAM to cover all of those tasks. Now, the way RAM works, if you're new to, you know, techie stuff in the computer world, basically every time you open a program, it'll pull away from the memory, the RAM of your computer. So let's say, for instance, you open up Google Chrome, that's anywhere from two to four gigs of RAM. So then you open up Spotify, there's another gig of RAM. You open up your Word doc, there's another gig. And so it starts to add up rather quickly. And as you add all of these programs to your workflow, you'll start to pull away from the RAM. So that's why I recommend 16 gigs as the sweet spot if you find yourself multitasking a lot. Now, while we're on the outside of the chassis, let's take a look at the ports. On the left side, we have a USB type A, USB type C, and a headphone jack. On the right side panel, we have a magnetized power port. And I really like this. I like the small charger block you have set up here. And you just slide this over here and it magnetizes right in. Really handy. And also if you go and you walk by it and you hit your cord, it pops right out. So you won't have your computer flying off the desk, hitting the floor and, uh, be buying a new Microsoft Surface Laptop Go. Now, like I mentioned earlier, the on-the-go capabilities of this laptop are on point. It's thin and light, and with a tall aspect ratio screen, so nice for workflow. Now, let's go ahead and open the screen. Let's see if we can do that with one hand, a little open and close test. Opens and closes easily with one hand. And now let's check out the screen flex. This often lends to the build quality of a laptop. And because of that really stiff aluminum screen, you're only seeing a tiny bit of screen flex, barely any. And then because of our singular hinge down here at the bottom of the screen, you don't have any bottom screen flex, which is great as well. Now, I really like this singular hinge. That's gonna be a lot more sturdy for the on-the-go lifestyle that you're going for. And then you have a vent that comes out behind the hinge here to vent the computer. We have no vents along the bottom of the chassis, but this laptop does really good staying cool and quiet. You're not gonna see above 45 decibels of fan noise really whatever you're doing, even if you're really pushing the computer hard with a lot of different tasks, doing a lot of multitasking in your workflow, you're not gonna see above 45 decibels of fan noise. Now keep in mind, if you want to get the fingerprint reader, that's gonna be the upgraded model. So whenever you're making your buying decision, if you so choose to go with the Surface Laptop Go and you want the fingerprint reader, make sure you're purchasing the model that it comes with. The keyboard and trackpad is probably one of the highlights for me. It's quiet, 
soft touch, both the keys and the key press feels really spongy and soft, very satisfying, but then it doesn't sink and have a slow release. It snaps back really quickly. I like the keyboard. I like the full size shift key and these smaller arrow keys are really nice. I use the arrow keys a little bit, not a lot in my personal workflow, but I really like a full size shift key. What I often find is if I don't have a full size shift key, I often miss the shift key and I end up not hitting the key that I was expecting, which throws off my whole typing groove. And I'm not about that. Now, the next thing to look at is the trackpad. And though it is a plastic trackpad, it has a very satisfying, soft and responsive click. It's a very quiet trackpad along with the quiet keyboard. The keyboard and trackpad are a great combination for any all hands meetings or maybe client meetings or something where you're taking a lot of notes, maybe clicking around on your trackpad and you don't wanna be intrusive with a lot of noise. And that's why I think this combo is so great for any content writer or content manager that finds themselves either writing a lot or taking a lot of notes or in a lot of meetings or on a lot of calls. I don't know if you've ever been on a call and somebody's taking notes while on the call, it's like clink, 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 clink in your ear. You won't be the person doing that to the other end caller. Very nice key cluster. And then of course, just the refined and pristine aluminum keyboard deck is just pleasant to look into as well as use. Now this laptop does come with a webcam, but it does not have Windows Face ID, so you can't just like open your laptop and it unlocks for you, but it does have a webcam and here's a quick sample of the webcam for you. Here is a sample of the webcam on the Microsoft Surface Laptop Go and a little audio sample as well. Now regarding the audio that comes out of this laptop, it actually comes out from underneath the keyboard, which is really interesting. And so you can hear what that sounds like. Here's a quick audio sample for you. Now the next thing I wanna talk about is the screen. And this three by two aspect ratio is really, really good. The reason being is it allows a smaller screen to feel bigger. When you have a taller screen, you don't feel so scrunched down into what you're working on, whether you're writing a doc or you're reviewing a website that's you know maybe in pre-production and you're trying to plan it and edit it and copyright and check for errors and all that. When you have a taller screen, it doesn't feel so scrunched. Often, and, and no joke, often when I have a shorter screen, I almost feel like I'm kind of like crouching down into the screen so I can like get closer and see it. With this screen, because it's so tall, it feels like there's a lot of breathing room. It feels very open. And so I think that is a big benefit to having a 12 inch laptop with a taller screen is it doesn't feel as small. It really is deceiving um, how big the screen feels for the size it actually is. Now regarding the screen brightness, color gamut range, and color accuracy, those are coming up on your screen now. The sRGB is solid. We have a little bit lower on the Adobe RGB and DCI P3, but with the sRGB, you're still gonna have pretty solid color accuracy. Not the best, but it is good. And then of course the brightness for this screen, most laptops that come in more of the budget category don't have really strong screen brightness. I was impressed to see this laptop have a screen brightness of over 300 nits. Now, before we get into the performance section of this review, let's talk about the battery life. And that's something really everybody can get on board with. Now this laptop has over 12 hours of battery life for productivity. So whether you're in multiple applications, you're on Zoom meetings, you're writing emails, you're gonna have about 12 and a half hours of battery life. Now, because this laptop is equipped with quick charging, you can get about four hours of battery life in just 30 minutes of charging. So if the battery does go dead, you can jump into you know, a coffee shop, get the battery charged back up again, and then be off for the rest of your day with a good four hours of battery. Now, the battery life results are coming up on the screen for the other tests. Keep in mind what we're seeing here for the video editing battery life result is a Premiere Pro project, 1080p, run on loop, until the battery goes dead. Now there's like motion graphics, there's a B-roll clip, audio, music in that video edit. Now regards to the Photoshop score, now what you're seeing there is the Puget Systems Photoshop benchmark run on repeat until the battery goes dead. Now that's a very intense workflow. So if you're doing more casual Photoshop work, you will most likely get longer battery life than the result you're seeing here. But I always try and estimate on the low end of battery lives rather than over deliver on battery lives and maybe you'd be disappointed later. So do expect more battery life for design and photo editing tasks 
if you're not doing heavy workloads. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this is a fantastic laptop for content creators, content writers, even small business owners, or just managers who are on the go a lot. They need a laptop with great battery life, great productivity opportunity, and something that's sturdy and they're not afraid to toss in their backpack or briefcase. But what about some of the other members on your team? Now, if you're liking what you see here with the Microsoft Surface Laptop Go, but you're thinking Marty and IT and Olivia and video production prefer larger screens on their laptops, but I don't know the exact specs they need to integrate into their unique systems, then that's where CDW comes in. They can orchestrate the integration between hardware and software to make sure everyone on your team gets what they want and ensures that all of the tech works together seamlessly. For more info on the Microsoft Surface Laptop Go or to get connected with a CDW rep, you can head down in the description below and click that link. Now that we've covered the build quality and usability of this laptop, let's get into the performance benchmarks. Now keep in mind that though this is a touchscreen laptop, there will not be any pen functionality available with it. So if you're an artist, that might sway you away from this laptop. But if you're somebody who just likes a little bit of touchscreen functionality, whether you're designing or writing or just in your productivity day to day, then this has it going for you. Let's jump into a couple programs to see how well this laptop does multitasking with a Zoom call, some Photoshop work, writing a doc inside of Google Docs, and maybe even running a YouTube video in the background just to see how well this laptop performs in multitasking. All right, so we're testing out the multitasking here in the Microsoft Surface Laptop Go. As you can see, we're in a Zoom call right now with another laptop right here. And we're gonna jump into Photoshop real quick make some edits on this photo, add some layers here. And as you can see, it's working inside of Photoshop easily while still on this Zoom call. And I'm also running a YouTube video in the background, typing on a report and have my Spotify music player open. Now all of this is happening at 40% CPU usage and 53% RAM usage, which means this laptop is handling a great deal of multitasking very easily right now. Um, and then we jump back over here into Photoshop. Let's do a little bit more work, make that CPU kind of work a little bit for us. And then let's jump quickly back over to uh, the task manager. And as you can see, it shoots up to around 40%. Then as soon as I stop working in Photoshop, it drops right back down to around 20 to 25%. So that's why I'm saying this laptop will be great for designer, photo editor, uh, content manager, content writer, or even you know a business owner with their on-the-go meetings, Zoom calls, and things of those nature. Now I did run some video editing benchmarks for this laptop, and it did have some substantial drop frames for a 1080p nine-minute project with B-roll, A-roll, music, audio, and some motion graphics. So keep in mind, if you're considering this laptop for video editing, you can get away with 1080p. Maybe you edit some stuff as a content manager, but I would not consider this as your full-time video editing laptop. Really, like I said, the sweet spot for this laptop is gonna be content writers, designers, content managers, managers of teams, small business owners, large business owners, people who wanna have an on-the-go laptop that has a great battery life, has good multitasking for all the different productivity tasks that you have going on in your day-to-day -day workflow, and is durable and sturdy. And that's really where I see this laptop winning out, is a small package, nice tall screen, sturdy laptop you can toss into your briefcase or backpack and be on the go for many hours at a time. The Surface Laptop Go would be great for copywriters, designers, and your on the go sales teams, but you might need something a little different for each member on your team. This is where CDW can orchestrate the exact gear you need. I may be able to give you valuable feedback on each laptop in a vacuum, but I'm unable to provide feedback on your entire tech stack, such as software, data servers, compatible systems, and peripherals that will work for each unique player on your team. You can get connected with a CDW rep to discuss your entire tech stack to make sure every person on your team has the gear they need and the compatibility to integrate into your overall system with ease. Again, links in the description below if you wanna head on over to CDW and get started with that process. I'll see you here in the next one.